Hello everybody, welcome back to the wonderful world of Illumina. Uh, episode 39, I believe we are at. And, uh, a couple of important announcements to make here. First, let me see what the sign says. It's getting nice here. Greetings, Dottie. Well, thanks, Dottie. I've, uh, I've been trying. Oh, wait, uh, it was the wrong door. Wow, I did a great job decorating this room. I did not decorate at all. Ooh. Oh, -ho, very nice. It's got a travel net. Cool, cool. Um, I like the the artwork on the wall. It's quite creative. Ah, and uh, wardrobe. Cool, cool beans. A locked chest. Some bookshelves. That are empty. Nice saw. Uh, floor tiles. Very nice. Alright, well, thanks for uh, doing a room, Dottie. That is phenomenal. Let's see if anybody else has done any. I have not been on this server in a long while. Um, videos have been going up as usual for this server, but uh, those were all recorded in advance. And I am now. This is going to be like a little update video, people. I'm not going to be doing... Wait a minute. Why is there no wall? Didn't I have a wall there? Huh. Maybe I ran out of wood and didn't put a wall in. Maybe. I don't know. I thought I had a wall. Anyway, I have recently purchased a home, which I am now recording from my new bedroom. And, uh... Yeah, so, since uh, pretty much like mid-July, I haven't really been recording any videos, which I kind of feel bad about, but I've had a lot of things going on, so I really haven't had the time to devote to recording videos. But uh, other things as well, like the fact that I have decided to go ahead and split my channel, which you probably already know about because there's a little, I don't even know what it's called, but a little note thing that shows uh, on the videos to pretty much encourage you to watch a different video. And the different video basically just says that the mind test videos are all going on a new channel which does exist and it's been linked and a lot of people have subscribed to it um but there could be some of you who haven't which uh, i don't really know why you wouldn't have but if you hadn't and you want to see the rest of this series you will most definitely want to subscribe to that new channel because this video will be going ooh zombie this video obviously you are watching right now on the old channel but the next video in the series will be on the new channel. So if and you wanna if and you wanna see the next video, be sure to subscribe to the new channel. Because otherwise you won't. Okay, there's something out here. I'm hearing it like grunting or whatever, but I don't see it. Which is always the most dangerous kind of oh my inventory is full moss I don't need moss oh I can plant those actually I should keep that uh, twigs I can turn into sticks um, bush leaves I don't need I do not need those either or these now the unfortunate thing of all this is I can't get those berries that I dropped there because there's no way to grab them but oh well I, it's not like I'm gonna have any shortage of berries um let's go over to the castle I should probably close this door first though ah! and to arm myself with a sword as the uh, the monsters of the night are out in full force evidently but uh, getting back on the subject of 
yeah, having a house. I've uh, been pretty busy getting stuff, uh, getting stuff, you know, all working and underway and stuff like that. So it's been, it's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. Um, I don't know why, but I've been having problems with bats. Uh, last night, actually. Bat in the upstairs hallway? I don't know how it got in the house. I chased it into a bedroom. And then I was like, well, okay. I, you know, I'll go in the morning. Because I, it, you know, and it's dark. And of course, it's, I only have electricity upstairs in my bedroom. I haven't gotten it into the other bedrooms yet. Oh, it was an old house. It is an old house. What am I saying? Was 110 ish years old. Okay, so it's an old house. And most of the electric was, let's just say, not up to code. Uh, pretty dangerous. Nothing was grounded. So I was like, eh, you know what? It's probably a good idea if I just rip out all of the old wiring and just start fresh. So I pretty much did that. And uh, I just, I haven't gotten electric into the other bedrooms because, well, I don't, I don't live in them. I mean, right now they're kind of just storage. One's a toy room for all of my Lego, which I have tons of. And the other one is just kind of random stuff sitting in it right now. Uh, I just, I just haven't gotten them wired up. I haven't had the time. I've got the, the wires and the outlets and the breakers and everything I need to do it. I just, I just haven't done it yet. So, yeah, the the room that the bat decides to fly into and I catch it in is the one that doesn't have a light or any electric. So I just closed the door last night. I was like, well, I'll, I'll deal with it in the morning. You know, I'll, I'll go in there with a, a box or something to try to catch it. So I do that. So this morning I go into the bedroom and box in one hand sheet of cardboard in the other you know I'm gonna the idea was throw the box over the bats and then uh, slide the cardboard under the box to kinda catch it and then go and release it outside for the life of me can't find a bat I mean it's gotta be in there someplace don't know where cuz I couldn't find it so yeah that's exciting so what I've done, which may or may not, wah, may or may not be a wise idea, but uh, this morning I just, I opened the bedroom window and I figured, well, why can't I pick up this leaf? I'm confused. But I figured, well, you know what? I will, uh, I'll hope the bat flies out. Maybe it will, maybe it won't, I don't know. If it doesn't, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. <sighs> Bats kind of freak me out a little bit. I know it's just as freaked out of me as I am of it, but that's really no consolation when it's, whoa, when it's flying around your hallways at night. I just, it's, it's spooky. Like, I know it's not going to hurt me. Well, it, it probably won't anyways. I don't think uh, it's too likely that it would bite me or anything. So it's just, it just, it's annoying because I don't know where it's coming from. I, I have no idea how it got in my house. Like, the previous owners had mentioned that at one point they had bats in the attic. And it's a uh, it's a semi-finished attic, so there's a full floor up there. And there's a stairway that leads up to it with a door at the bottom. And I always keep that door closed. So there's no... Oh, that poor wolf just died. Oh, wait. Yep, yep, he did. So there's no way the bats are coming down from the attic because the door's closed. There's no way they could get in. They're not... Uh, to my knowledge, they're not coming through a window because all the windows are closed. 
So I just, I don't know how they're getting in and it's annoying and it bugs me because I come home from work at night and I live alone because, well, uh, I, yeah, I, I live alone because I ain't found that lady yet. Uh, so single ladies take note. I'm totally kidding. Uh, but yeah, I haven't, I just, whatever. It's unimportant why I live alone. I just, cause I'm not married and I don't know anybody, but, uh, yeah. So I come home after work, you know, and it's, it's dark. I mean, I got lights and stuff, obviously. So I have the lights on and whatever, but it's like you just, you're walking upstairs, like, is there going to be a bat flying around someplace that's going to. It's like a jump scare, is what it's like. You're just minding your own business, and suddenly it just flies past your face, freaks you out. Like, freaks. Freaks you out. It's almost like if I had a weak heart, I would probably have a heart attack or two or three or maybe even ten by now because you're just, you know, sometimes you hear some like rustling noises of their wings hitting stuff and so you kind of like go into the bedroom and you shine a flashlight because again, a bunch of the bedrooms don't have electricity yet and suddenly it comes flying past your face and just spooks the living daylights out of you. So, uh, yeah, I've got this chunk of water pipe that I've uh, started carrying around when I start hearing noises. Because I don't, I don't know what's making the noises, but uh, I want to be ready to, yeah, defend myself. I know it's horrible. Why? How could you kill a poor helpless bat? Cause it's in my house and it's freaking me out. That's how I could. So, um, yeah, that's the end of story time for today. It was it was a thrilling story, wasn't it? Bats and uh, the fact that well, it took forever. And the fact that future videos for this channel, uh, for this series, what am I saying, for this channel, for this series will be on the new channel. This channel, because I, I don't know if I really explained it in this video, I don't think I did. Uh, this channel is actually going to be used more for home improvement videos. And uh, sometimes not even really home improvement videos. But uh, more like, hey, look, I did this on my house. I won't necessarily be like explaining how to do things because I, I discovered that that's actually a difficult video to make. And uh, it doesn't help that I've had no end of trouble getting a video editor to work for these videos. What am I looking at? 13 minutes, okay, we, I still got some time to talk. So, another fun story. I make these videos and I just I record them and then I edit them with a piece of software called Shotcut, which works great. I throw the video in, I actually extract the audio from the video and uh, do some noise reduction on that to just kind of clean the audio up a little bit. And then I go ahead and mix the two back together and it works great. Perfect, every time, never any issues. So I go ahead and I make my edits of my videos, of the different improvement stuff that I've done. And I mean, this is like a lot of work kind of edit. So I make this edit and I'm like, all right, all right, let's go ahead and export it. Export fails, I'm like, well, that's no good. Try again, export fails. What's going on? Try a third time. Export fails. So then I was like, okay, well, let's try another software. So I tried a different program, this time Kden Live. And, uh, oh, hey, I need this for the church. And uh, Kden Live exports to like 98% and then fails. And it just, it's so annoying. So what I'm currently doing is using Blender. 
to edit the videos. Um, not these videos, these videos still work fine with Shotcut, but my home improvement videos, those are being done with Blender, which it, it really does work fine to do it. Um, it just, it's not what I would normally use to do that kind of edits. So I've really only edited one video so far in Blender and I haven't gotten that uploaded or even finished yet because I got to do some voiceover work on it. But yeah, it's, it's coming along. I got tons of videos that I need to get edited and uploaded, but it took a while for me. Oh, wow. <laughs> it took a while to find something that would work. So, but now that I have, I just have to get all this stuff edited and uploaded. So if you are interested in that kind of stuff, uh, definitely don't unsubscribe from this channel because there will be some videos of that nature coming up uh, hopefully in the near future. I've been saying that for a very long time now and they still haven't come out. So yeah, people are probably pretty upset. I know my core is like, so when are all these home improvement videos showing up that you keep telling me about? It's like, well, I keep having problems getting them to export correctly. And obviously, if they're not exporting, I, uh, you know, can't really upload them because, well, I, I don't have them. But once I, once I get this all figured out and stuff, and uh, maybe fix the audio in my bedroom. I shouldn't say the audio, but the acoustics, because you're probably noticing right now that the audio sounds mm, maybe a little bit echoey, and I think that's due to the fact that it's pretty much just. A square room and I don't have like curtains and draperies Dra draperies whatever I don't have a lot of stuff to like deaden sounds so everything is just a little echoey so I need to work on that to take care of the problem and make it go away and uh, I think that's gonna wrap this video up 17 minutes not too bad uh, kind of gets you guys all up to speed on everything again next episode will be on the new channel so be sure to subscribe to that if you want to uh, you know keep up to date on this project uh, yeah so thanks for watching guys and I will see you next time <laughs>